It took me way too long to get my hands on this camera and I really regret not getting it before. This review video is about two years late, but this camera here is worth taking the time to show you all today. This camera features the IMX533CMOS sensor, which is a great choice for a cooled camera for several reasons. Allow me to explain. This sensor features a pixel size of 3.76, which is ideal for telescopes with focal lengths ranging from 388 millimeters to 1150 millimeters. This means that this camera is able to be used with the majority of telescopes you can find sold on the internet today. It has a resolution of 3008 by 3008 giving it a square frame. A square frame is a great shape for you to be able to post your pictures on Instagram, on Facebook, or even print them out to frame them up in your own home. It functions with USB 3.0, allowing for faster data transferring, and it has a maximum frame rate of 20 frames per second. It features a full well capacity of 50,000 electrons, allowing for higher contrast in your deep sky astrophotos. Also, since it's cold, the amount of noise caused by dark current will be greatly reduced, almost eliminating the need for dark frames, which can take up a lot of your time. For example, here's an image I took with an F7 telescope just the other night with this exact camera. This image only contains about 10 hours of exposure time, and as you can see, the stars are not oversaturated as they would have been with a cheaper uncooled camera and the galaxy being the main focus of the image clearly stands out against the nice sky. Not to mention, despite this being an unfiltered image, you can clearly see the red hydrogen alpha data contained within the galaxy showing off this camera's high dynamic range. And as mentioned previously, due to the fact that this is in fact a cooled astro camera, if you look at just one frame, you can see that there are no hot pixels within the image, and there's almost no noise, despite this being a five minute long exposure. What helps is that this camera can be cooled 30 degrees Celsius below ambient temperature, which is also easily controllable through the SharpCap program. Now, just because it's a dedicated deep sky imaging camera, it doesn't mean you can't use it for planetary imaging. In fact, if you happen to have a telescope with a focal length higher than 700 millimeters, you can get some incredible details on planets like Jupiter, Saturn, or even the moon. What I personally like about this camera is that it has so many uses and it excels in almost every way you can think of. Of course, I have to mention some have noticed some banding issues within the dark frames, but because this is a cooled camera, you don't necessarily need to take dark frames, so that's not too much of an issue. And either way, that appears to have recently been fixed with some updates to their camera drivers. It's super easy to connect to your computer. All you have to do is go on SV Boney's website, download the camera drivers, open SharpCap, and you'll be good to go. Now, this camera is priced currently at $662 on Amazon, and a link is included in the description below. And that is probably the cheapest price that you can find for a cooled camera of this quality, which makes it a great first step into your world of astro-cooled cameras. Of course, you could also purchase it directly from the SV Boney website. Again, link found in the description below. It says they often have promos and coupons that you can apply to make it even cheaper. Let me know what you personally think about this camera down below in the comments, if you already have one of course. And remember, despite this being a good camera, you should still do your research on if this is a good match for you based on the telescope that you have. If you enjoyed this video and are looking to see more astrophotography content and reviews, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel below as it will greatly affect the channel. And as always, I wish you clear skies.